Philip Crazy Phil Leonetti was once one of the most feared and respected figures in the Philadelphia Mafia. Nephew to the ruthless boss Nicodemo Little Nicky Scarfo, Leonetti was deeply entrenched in a violent criminal empire. By the time he was 36, Leonetti was second in command of the Scarfo crime family, directly overseeing its operations. However, his life took an extraordinary turn in 1989 when he decided to cooperate with law enforcement, becoming one of the highest ranking mafia members to flip. This is the story of how Leonetti rose through the ranks, why he chose to turn on his uncle, and how his cooperation helped dismantle one of the most violent mafia families in US history. Philip Crazy Phil Leonetti's journey into the heart of the Philadelphia Mafia wasn't a choice it was his birthright. Born on March 27, 1953 in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Leonetti grew up in a world where loyalty to family wasn't just expected, it was demanded. His uncle Nicodemo Little Nicky Scarfo cast a long shadow over Leonetti's childhood. Scarfo was a man who valued violence and fear as the ultimate tools of power, and Leonetti was molded in his image. Despite his later reputation as a ruthless mobster, Leonetti's childhood was marked by a stark contrast between the relative innocence of youth and the constant exposure to the criminal underworld. His mother, Nancy Scarfo, was fiercely protective of her son, but also deeply loyal to her brother. When Philip's father left the family, it was Scarfo who stepped in as a father figure. This connection would set the trajectory of Leonetti's life. The Scarfo era was one of the bloodiest in Philadelphia mob history. Scarfo ruled with an iron fist demanding absolute loyalty and eliminating anyone he perceived as a threat. Under Scarfo's leadership, the family carried out dozens of murders, including rivals, informants, and even its own members suspected of betrayal. Leonetti earned a reputation for being cold and calculating, but he wasn't as bloodthirsty as his uncle. He carried out orders without question, including hits, but he was more pragmatic and less prone to Scarfo's outbursts of rage. Despite their success in consolidating power, Scarfo's paranoia and penchant for violence alienated many within the family. Leonetti began to feel the weight of the bloodshed and the pressure of his uncle's unpredictable leadership. The seeds of doubt were sown as Leonetti started questioning whether the Mafia life was worth the endless violence and betrayal. By the late 1980s, the Scarfo family's empire was crumbling. The FBI had made organized crime a top priority, and the Philadelphia family was under constant surveillance. In 1987, both Scarfo and Leonetti were indicted on racketeering charges. Leonetti was also implicated in 10 murders, including that of Salvatore Testa, a rising star in the family who had been a close friend of Leonetti's but fell victim to Scarfo's paranoia. In 1988, Leonetti was convicted alongside his uncle and sentenced to 45 years in prison. Facing decades behind bars and the knowledge that he could never escape his uncle's reach, Leonetti made a fateful decision. He agreed to cooperate with the government, Leonetti's decision to turn on Scarfo was driven by a combination of disillusionment and self-preservation. Scarfo's brutal regime had created a toxic environment where no one was safe, not even family. Leonetti realized that his loyalty to Scarfo had only brought him misery and a life of violence. Furthermore, Leonetti saw the writing on the wall. The FBI had amassed significant evidence against the family, and his prospects for a reduced sentence without cooperation were bleak. By flipping, he could ensure his survival and gain a second chance at life. Leonetti's cooperation was a treasure trove for federal prosecutors. As Scarfo's underboss, he had first-hand knowledge of the family's operations, including extortion, loan sharking, drug trafficking, and murder. He testified against his uncle and other high-ranking mobsters, providing detailed accounts of how the family conducted business and carried out hits. One of the most shocking revelations was the extent of Scarfo's paranoia and ruthlessness. Leonetti described how Scarfo ordered the murder of Salvatore Testa, who had been one of the family's most loyal soldiers, simply because Scarfo feared Testa might challenge his authority. Leonetti also exposed the inner workings of the mob's infiltration of legitimate businesses and unions, helping prosecutors build cases against other organized crime figures across the country. Leonetti's testimony was instrumental in securing convictions for more than 30 mobsters, including Scarfo, who received a life sentence. The Scarfo crime family was effectively dismantled, and the Philadelphia mob never regained the same level of power. After his cooperation, Leonetti entered the Federal Witness Protection Program. Unlike many mob informants who struggled to adapt to civilian life, Leonetti found a way to move forward. He took advantage of the new identity and financial support provided by the government to rebuild his life far away from the violence of his past. In 2014, Leonetti co-authored a memoir titled Mafia Prince, Inside America's Most Violent Crime Family and the Bloody Fall of La Cosa Nostra. The book provides a candid account of his life in the mob, his relationship with Scarfo, and his eventual decision to cooperate. 
Philip Leonetti's story is a rare example of a high-ranking mobster breaking the code of Omerta and successfully transitioning to a new life. His cooperation marked the end of one of the most violent eras in Mafia history and demonstrated the devastating impact that a single insider could have on organized crime. Today, Leonetti lives quietly under an assumed name. While he has expressed regret for his past actions, he has also made it clear that his decision to cooperate was the only way to escape the cycle of violence that had defined his life. His story serves as a powerful reminder of the human cost of organized crime and the potential for redemption. Scarfo had begun his rise in the Philadelphia Mafia in the late 1940s and 1950s, working his way up through the ranks under the leadership of Angelo Bruno. By the time Leonetti was a teenager, Scarfo was well established as a made man. Scarfo's relentless ambition and penchant for violence made him a key player, and he expected his nephew to follow in his footsteps. Scarfo's philosophy was simple. Fear is better than respect. He imparted this lesson to Leonetti early on, teaching him that intimidation and ruthlessness were essential to survival in their world. As a young boy, Leonetti absorbed these lessons, witnessing Scarfo's temper and the consequences of crossing him. This education wasn't theoretical. Scarfo frequently brought his nephew around his associates, giving him a first-hand view of mob life.